streets will run red with the blood. Blood of the white man. Can you open this, Elizabeth? On it. Done. We're actually in. That's good. Oh, feck, I'm all the way back here? Wow. I made a big fucking circle. I never got to, never even got to see Lutis Labs. That's the one thing I wanted to see. Oh, feck. Oh, there's two of them. No. Oh, now there's three of them. Okay. Need this? It's fine before. No, I'm not. Let's get going. Man, I just wanted to see the labs is all. Learn more about Elizabeth. They probably had something to do with Elizabeth. there. Here we are. Finally. She's gonna have to do that. That's no regular lock. How lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I knew it. Fuck. I was wondering why the streets were so empty. We're gonna have to rip off her mom's hand. I hope she knows that. Man, I knew it. I knew I'd have to come here. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? Going to the crypt. And there's... There's a lock. Elizabeth. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Their fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door, or do I have to go in with her? Let's do this. Elizabeth. It's her. All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. She should. Ah, oh, man, there's got to be a voxophone for this. Also, the frame rate is dropping like it's hot.
Uh oh. You see, child, you chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Oh no! I knew that thing. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Uh oh. Elizabeth, are you alright? Where, where did she go? Hold on. He Rest used her power. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some. Yeah, he opened a chair. Oh my god. She does that every once in a while. Oh god, man. Mothers. Psh, crazy. Do it! Done! That one fucking la Lady Liberty there. Oh, fake, I'm stuck in the grave! Hey, catch! Great. He, like, sucked the power out of her to get a tear. That was weird. I knew that ah, everything always ends up coming back to bite us. I'm just gonna run away. I don't want the burst gun, really. Ah, oh, I... Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, man. That sh cray. Open it. I'll take a cranker. Let's kill her mother. Could use some salt here, girl. Oh my god. Oh man, we are stuck. That'll do. Your mother seems like a nice person. I don't know what everyone's so angry about. Okay, I should just stop killing the corpses. Because they're corpses. Open it. I'll take a shoddy bow body. Come on. She seems like one of those overprotective mothers. Oh, that's an RPG guy. Oh no. Oh no. I know there's med kits under here. Oh! Fuck, lady, you're crazy! Oh, she's dead! She's dead! We got her! Holy... What is she? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? And the delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present... Is Whoa, they're dead! Lived, will live. Died, 
Christ died, we'll die. If we could perceive time as it truly was... What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps! We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. These people are freaking crazy. Digging their own grave and crap. Where did she go? I don't even know where she went. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, they're sarcastic. So I need to find the tears. There's something about little Comstock. Yeah. I notice. No, you don't understand. She, she doesn't have something I don't even know where this tear would be. Did this, damn it. I don't have anything. Here you go. I don't think I entered here before. Where's the three tears? That one seems to be in there. Pick this. Okay. All yours. <gasps> We're in Lutis Labs. This is weird as hell. There it is. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should yeah, just give me a sec. I'm looking for stuff. It's foxophones I gotta find. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. So I... I don't... Am I slowly losing my ability... my sex cells? Nice. Over what? here! Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet... We are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl. You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non existent. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. It's a lie. that they decided to imprison her. She deserves whatever Comstock did to her. carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? So they weren't her parents. 
But they had her in prison. Where's the next tear? 